So for identifying the conic sections based on the description of the locus of points, I'm going to look for the key um, words that would lead me to the format of the equations. This is the sum of distances from two fixed points, which are the foci. So because it's a sum, this is an ellipse. A set of all points equidistant from a given point is a circle. The set of all points where the difference of distances, so that's a hyperbola. And e equidistant from a point and a line, the directrix, that's a parabola. Okay, so now for the graph, for A, um, the vertex is at zero, zero. And then to figure out the directrix and the focus, the coefficient on the non-squared term is 4p. So that means p is 1. And since it's a y squared and the coefficient of 4 is positive, the y squared is it's going to open to the right. So the focus is one unit inside the parabola. The directrix is one unit to the left. So our directrix is the line x equals 1. The focus is the point 1, 0. Now for b, I have to isolate um, the square term. So that's x squared equals negative 12y. Again, the vertex is on the origin. And because it's an x squared graph with a negative 4p value, the graph is going to open down. Negative 12 is 4p. So that means three units inside the parabola is my focus. And three units up is the directrix. And that's the line y equals 3. OK, so for writing the equation of a circle, um, the center is at the origin, so that's x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And now we need to find out r. So if we plug in the x value they're giving us and the y value they're giving us, we get 25. So our equation is x squared plus y squared equals 25. Okay, so for 46, to graph this, um, it's an equation equation of a circle with the center at 0, 0, and we have r squared is 16, which means the radius is 4. I'm going to go 4 in every direction from the center and try to connect my points in as nice of a circle as possible. Okay, for 47 write the equation. Um, it helps me to draw a picture. So the center's on the origin. One vertex is out here at 10. And the co-vertex is down here. Oh, sorry. Nope. Over 0, up 10. Here's the vertex. So the co-vertex is at negative 8. So because it's an ellipse, that's going to be an x squared over plus y squared over equals 1. And because the vertex is in the vertical direction, a squared is under the y, and b squared is under the x. So a is 10, so the denominator here is 100, and then the denominator here is 8 squared, which is 64. OK, so to describe the graph, um, it's an ellipse. The center is at 0, 0. It's horizontal because the larger number is underneath the x. Um, the vertices are at plus or minus 6, 0. The co-vertices are at 0, plus or minus 4. Um, and I think that's enough of a description. OK, so to graph 49a, that's a hyperbola where the center is on 0, 0. I'm going to go 5 in the x direction, 4 in the y, 
and that is going to give me my rectangle. So now the asthmatotes for this hyperbola, if I connect, I should draw that dashed. I'll draw this one dashed. So these are my asthmatotes, and because the x squared is first and positive, it's going to open in the x direction. So the center is 0, 0, and the vertices are at plus or minus 5, comma, 0. So now for B, I first have to make this equal to 1. So we're going to divide everything by 36. And we get y squared over 9 minus x squared over 4 equals 1. The center is at 0, 0. I'm going to go 3 in the y direction and 2 in the x to get my rectangle. I'm going to draw my asymptotes dashed. Because the y variable is positive, it's going to open in the y direction. The center is at 0, 0, and the vertices are at 0, plus or minus 3. Okay, so now for 50, uh, name the conic section. It's a parabola. Let's do A. It's a parabola. If it's a parabola, name the vertex. Okay, so the vertex is at 0, 0. Um, focus, directrix, axis of symmetry, and the oh, way it opens. Okay. So because the coefficient is with the non-squared, 4p is a half. So if we multiply by a quarter on both sides to eliminate the 4, p is 1 eighth. And because it's the y squared, that means it's going to open to the right. So if you need a little sketch to help. And that means the focus is 1 eighth comma 0 inside the parabola. The directrix is x equals negative 1 eighth. And the axis of symmetry is going to be x equals 0. I'm sorry, not x equals the axis of symmetry is y equals because it's a horizontal line through that parabola. Okay, 51 is a hyperbola. I know that because of the subtraction between the terms. For hyperbola, I the center, vertices, foci, and orientation. Okay, so the center is at 0, 0. It's going to open horizontally on the x direction because the x variable is positive. The vertices are going to be plus or minus 5 comma 0. And now for the foci, we have to figure out the value. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 25 plus 64 equals c squared. That's 89. So C is plus or minus root 89. And the, um, the foci, their coordinates are going to be in the same direction as the vertices. So it's in the x-coordinate. Since the center is at 0, it's going to be 0 plus or minus root 89 comma 0. So for 52, I'm going to move the 49 to the right-hand side, making this graph a circle. If it's a circle, so the center is at 0, 0, and the radius is the square root of 49, which is 7. All right, and last but not least of these for 53, that's an ellipse. And because the larger value is underneath the x, it's a horizontal ellipse. What else do we need? The center is at 0, 0. The vertices are plus or minus 11, 0. The co-vertices are at 0, plus or minus 7. 
Um, the square root of 121 is 11. The square root of 49 is that 7. And now for the foci, a squared minus b squared equals c squared. And we have to calculate c squared. So 121 minus 49 is 72. We're going to square root both sides. <clears throat> so plus or minus root 72. And the foci are um, in the same direction as the vertices. So that's going to be plus or minus root 72. comma zero. Okay, so for matching our graphs, um, let's see, we have one circle. So where is the circle equation? B is graph one. Let me see if I can get all of these on the screen here. Okay, so now let's see, we have two ellipses, uh, graph three and graph five. So my ellipse equations are E and C, because they're the ones with adding. And now the one with the bigger denominator under X will be graph 5. So that's graph E. And then graph 3 is going to be C. Um, then we're left with two hyperbola and one parabola. Well, then the parabola is graph A. It's the only parabola. So now for the two hyperbola, uh, for D, because the Y is the positive variable, that's graph 6, so that leaves graph 4 for F.